Okay, so this program will show you how to remove duplicate elements from an array. So we have this um, array of strings here, and what we want it to look like is just A, C, B, where you remove the uh, duplicate A's, duplicate B's, and C's. So there's um, a couple methods here that we're going to call, and uh, it's a little confusing, but if we just walk through it step by step, then it'll start to make sense. So what we need to do is begin with the new size variable. So in new size okay, equals remove duplicates values and values dot length. So you need to find the size of the array after you remove the elements that are duplicates. So then we go down to this method and what are the parameters uh, that you will you will use? A string array, right? Values in this case and int current uh, size. Okay, so it, uh, that will just be the length of the array. Um, okay, now we'll do a start variable. So int start equals zero. And well start is less than current size, then int removed equals remove from tail, which is this method right here. Okay, now uh, what do we want to remove? We need to remove, uh, we need to know the string, um, the string array and the current size and start plus one and a sub start. So we can go down to here and sort of um, match up these parameters with the arguments. So we need to pass another string, array of strings, and current size in start and string oops, to be removed. Okay. So let's do inside of here int source equals start int target equals start so both of these will equal um, whatever you pass through here in this case uh, start is start plus one so let's see int removed will equal zero and while oops, while source is less than current size, okay. Um, then, oops, if a source dot equals to be removed, then increase removed by one. Otherwise, a target equals a source and increase target by one. And then in both of these cases, you will increment source. So after this, you can return removed and we'll come back up here and finish up this method. So uh, once you have the removed variable, that you need, then you could set current size equals current size minus removed and increment start by one. Okay. And then this needs to return an int. So return current size. So now you know the new size of the string that you need after you remove the elements that you need to do. So if we come back up here to main, we can print everything out and see how it looks. So for int i equals zero, while i is less than new size, uh, i plus plus. And then we'll just print values sub i plus some spacing. And uh, yeah, let's see how that looks. ACB, we got it. So I know it's a little confusing. I think if I just did, um, you know, some 
uh, logging of what's happening in each case, then it might make a little more sense. So let me think how I could do that. Um, maybe I'll print off down here. So in remove from tail, let's do print line. Oh. Um, a sub source. So let's see what that looks like. A, A, C, C, B, B. So um, remove duplicates is called, then remove from tail. And then if the source of the incoming array equals to be removed, then uh, removed increases, right? And this is the variable that you're returning. And this is just showing you which ones you're gonna remove because we've got um, two more A's than we need, two C's and two B's to remove. Okay, so that looks good. Um, where else could I put one? So, yeah, I think that's good for now.